Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about something that might sound a little shocking. NASA is paying Elon Musk's SpaceX $843 million to destroy the International Space Station, ISS. Yes, you heard that right. But before you jump to conclusions, let's dive into why this is happening and what it really means. Why is NASA bringing down the ISS? The ISS wasn't designed to last indefinitely. It has lasted far longer than its initial design life of 15 years. It's been in space for over 25 years, and the wear and tear are starting to show. Maintaining and operating the ISS is becoming increasingly expensive, and safety concerns are growing. The ISS has done its job incredibly well, but NASA is now focusing on new missions like going back to the moon and even sending humans to Mars. So, it's time to plan for a future without the ISS. Why is SpaceX getting $843 million? Now, you might be wondering why SpaceX? NASA has partnered with Elon Musk SpaceX for many successful missions, including launching astronauts to the ISS and deploying satellites. SpaceX has proven its expertise in space travel and technology, making it the perfect partner for this challenging task. NASA is paying $843 million to SpaceX for the development of a system that will safely bring the ISS down in a controlled way. Destroying something as massive as the ISS isn't easy. It can't just fall out of the sky. That would be dangerous. SpaceX will use its technology to guide the ISS safely into Earth's atmosphere, where it will burn up. The remaining pieces will land in a remote area of the ocean, far away from people or places. How will SpaceX do it? SpaceX will help destroy the International Space Station ISS by guiding it into a controlled descent toward Earth. Here's how the process works. Deorbiting plan. SpaceX will likely use its Dragon spacecraft or a specially designed vehicle to dock with the ISS. The spacecraft will use its thrusters to gradually lower the ISS's orbit. The controlled descent. The key is to ensure the ISS enters Earth's atmosphere at the right angle and speed. This controlled descent will cause most of the ISS to burn up due to the intense heat generated during re-entry. A targeted splashdown. Any remaining debris will be directed to fall into a remote part of the ocean, often referred to as the spacecraft graveyard or Point Nemo, which is far away from human activity. By carefully planning and executing this process, SpaceX will ensure the ISS is safely brought down without posing any danger to people on Earth. SpaceX has already shown it can handle complicated space missions, so this is just another step in their growing list of achievements. What comes next after the ISS? With the ISS gone, what's next for space exploration? NASA has big plans. Instead of a single large space station like the ISS, NASA is encouraging private companies like SpaceX to build smaller commercial space stations. These will be used for research, tourism, and even preparing for missions to Mars. NASA is also working on the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2024 and lay the foundation for future missions to Mars. So, while the ISS might be coming down, the future of space exploration is more exciting than ever. Interesting facts about the ISS and its end. Before we wrap up, Let's check out some cool facts about the ISS and its final days. Starting in 1998, it took 42 separate launches to send its modules into space. Uh, the ISS, weighing over 450 tons, about the weight of three large blue whales, has as much internal space as a six-bedroom house and covers an area the size of a football field. Over 240 astronauts from 19 different countries have visited the ISS. Uh, the ISS travels at about 17,500 miles per hour and orbits Earth every 90 minutes. Uh, once the ISS is brought down, pieces of it will fall into a part of the ocean called Point Nemo, the most remote location on Earth, sometimes referred to as the spacecraft graveyard. Uh, the controlled destruction of the ISS is set for around 2030, but planning has already begun. Conclusion Some ISS supporters believe it shouldn't be destroyed at all. They suggest it should be boosted to a higher orbit where it could remain in space forever as a symbol of human engineering. However, this idea is highly impractical and extremely costly. So, NASA paying SpaceX $843 million to destroy the International Space Station is a big move, but it's all part of a grander plan for the future of space exploration. The ISS has served its purpose, and now it's time to look forward to new and exciting missions. With companies like SpaceX leading the way, we're in for an exciting space adventure in the years to come. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the world of space exploration. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.